around the center of the earth. And my idea is very much. Lisboa, it's a center of good food, good nightlife, turn to the world, to multicultures. It's kind of becoming the center of cultural revolution in its own way. And I think it can be the center of Europe because it captures the European culture. This is uh, Lisbon, open heart. Center of Europe, it's right here, to be precise. Right there, in Spalha Brasas, Lisbon, of course. I believe wherever you are you're in Europe, you're at the center. It's a restaurant that is based on simple and traditional uh, Portuguese cuisine. We have a, um, a tradition for centuries the codfish, dried in the sun with salt. And uh, some centuries ago, that would be the way to keep it for all year long. And uh, that would be the, the food for most of the, the Portuguese that uh, could not afford something else. I think Lisbon is the center of Europe. With the internet, you have no boundaries, have the weather and the nice people, so you can conquer the world. It's a challenge in terms of culture, because we don't have a very entrepreneurial uh, culture. Center of Europe is right where you are. Our signature is ideas that happen. So it's not only having the ideas, but it's the possibility that make to, of making them happen. I started the house of the entrepreneurs. It's a, it's a place where entrepreneurs can get the resources they need the people they need, the support they need. The center of Europe is uh, split between our heritage, common culture and our hearts. Especially with um, what I call the natural dances like uh, Argentinian tango, salsa, where you have actually true improvisation. Uh, you add another, one, another element to the mix, and that is, uh, besides the interpretation of the music, you also have the combination with your partner in a, in, a, in a free way, where you just use simple body mechanics and you create all these things that you see. I think the center of Europe is where the soul and art of Europe is. It, uh, it took several years uh, to convince uh, Portugal that it was worthwhile to invest in artificial intelligence. And also because uh, uh, Portugal didn't have a very good image on technology abroad, it was also very difficult for us to convince customers in other countries to go ahead with us. Of course, it's also very difficult for a computer to have the intelligence to, to, to cope with such a complexity. And that's where artificial intelligence comes to take better advantage of the resources of, of the company. And uh, that was the, the, the main goal for Tishkog, a company that develops software for the transportation domain. In internet, you should uh, take advantage of, you have the attention of the customer to make him make an action. In offline, it's difficult because the media and the action are separate things. You see TV and you go to the shops. Now here, you can use their attention to see your advertising and take some action. Of course, you need to have the, the human resources, the people, the talent to do that. IT uh, mostly depends on brains. You don't need to build uh, factories to invest heavily in factories. So it could be an area where Portugal could invest uh, and take a large return without making a very big investment in the initiative. From the early stages, we decided to divide the company in business teams without departments. There is no department of design or department of development or that, all that stuff. All the, uh, the teams are business teams that have business people and uh, technical people together and working for the same purpose and for the same team. 
So you see around the offices business teams of 12, 15 people maximum uh, working together, in a, even in a circle shape, that everyone works together. We got a digital label to work with us, and we'll be on um, a compilation that has different bands from all over the world, and that play garage rock, and we were selected to represent Portugal. My day job is in a school that teaches Portuguese to foreign learners. I'm a designer of machines. I'm a, an architect. Well, when I'm not playing in the band, I like to be a photographer. Portuguese are people with a high degree of uh, imagination and a high degree of flexibility. Both of these aspects have helped us in um, building an, a good IT system, adapting it to, to the needs of our customers. It's the centre of innovation, of technology, it's the centre of tradition, of history, of modernity, of wonderful people, of good food, of good weather, everything. <laughs> well, Lisbon, it's, the, it's one of the favourite cities for having congresses, international congresses, so we are at the top. So we are in a, in a group and there are several other uh, companies there as well. Tourism uh, connected or communication and event makers. So it's all a, a big synergy of, of uh, competences. It's easy when you know what you're doing and if you have time uh, enough in advance to prepare all the details because it's a business built on, on details and to be prepared for all kinds of unexpected. So if you are already prepared with what you know is going to happen, then you will also have time and availability to take care of those things that you don't know. It's finger speech gefühl, yeah. That's, that's for sure. And this specific Congress, and, and as uh, in the case of, of most of them, is marketed primarily through the, the website. And this is the prime uh, uh, communication tool for the Congress. Actually position us as European, as international. Of course, Europe is a very mature market in terms of internet. So we decided, okay, to adopt the EU as the main, uh, main domain of the company. We felt that if there was a .eu, we should clearly be part of it. .eu is used uh, because it is a European uh, Congress. Europe has become an open space in many ways. We are in the uh, uh, Union uh, Europea, yes. Why not use uh, EU? We are European. In Portuguese, EU is spelled EU and it means I. <laughs> I would say that we are a Portuguese company. Uh, we are also an Euro European company. We are not um, a global company yet. <laughs>